everyone, and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install custom Minecraft maps in Minecraft 1.16.4. Uh, I'm even going to be showing you how to take older maps, like 1.16 maps, and update them to the newest version, 1.16.4. So, as long as the map is made for a snapshot of 1.16 or higher, it's going to be compatible and working with 1.16.4. We're going to show you that in this video today. But first and foremost, what if you want to play these custom maps with your friends? Well, that's where Apex Minecraft hosting comes in. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your very own Minecraft server set up and running any of the custom maps that you want. Any custom map that you can run in single player, you can run on a Minecraft server quickly and easily with Apex. Those have 24 hours, 7 day a week support to help you out and help you do that. It is incredible. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them and really put our money where our mouth is and do that. So we trust Apex, so you can trust Apex. That's, that's kind of our motto. But nevertheless, Apex is truly amazing. They have over 130 mod packs for you to choose from. You can run plugins on your server, run mods on your server, anything you want to do with the Minecraft server, you can do it at Apex, including add your custom Minecraft maps to it. But nevertheless, you can get Apex the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to get your very own server set up thanks to them for sponsoring this video but nevertheless let's go ahead and get custom maps installed in single player to do that you want to go to the second link down below now if you've already got a custom map awesome you can skip forward in this video a little bit but if you don't here's where you can download them this is our list of over 15 custom maps for minecraft 1.16 and yes any 1.16 1.16.1 1.16.2 .1, 1.16.3 maps will work in 1.16.4 you just have to convert them once they're in game so nevertheless no big deal there but that is something you do need to know now, there are tons of awesome maps here. Um, we've installed some of them in the past. Let's go ahead and install Horizon Survival. This is a Skyblock-style survival map. You can play Skyblock on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the universe, but this one's a bit different because it uses single-player mechanics. Now, as you can see, this is for a snapshot of Minecraft 1.16. That's going to work without any problems here. Let's go ahead and click on the Download Minecraft Map button, and it will go ahead and download in the bottom left, right like so. You may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, all maps are going to be installed the same way while well, we're just installing this map all maps that you download are going to be installed the exact same way let's go ahead and minimize our browser and here on our desktop we do have the horizon survival map now if this is in our desktop no worries it's going to be in your downloads folder to find that click the little windows icon on the top left of my screen probably the bottom left of your screen click on that little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen and then go ahead and type in downloads right like so you know this downloads file folder in windows click on that and in here you will find your custom map go ahead and drag it to your desktop just like so now before you go ahead and be like all right how do i install it wait you need to make sure you've got the correct file the correct folder to install if you try to install this it won't work what you need to do is right click on the file you downloaded and then click on extract all then go ahead and click extract. Then a new folder will appeal on your desktop and open up like this, right? So you've got this new folder up here in the top left and you've got this right here. So if you zoom in here, we'll be able to see Horizon Survival. If we go ahead and open up that, then we'll be able to see data, data packs, DIM1, all that stuff. Whenever you see all these folders and some files down here at the bottom, right like so, go ahead and click the back arrow in the top left of your file browser. Then you wanna take this, this folder right here and drag it to your desktop. Then you can delete every other folder in regards to your map from your desktop, right like so. Now you should be able to open up this new folder you have, in our case Horizon Survival, and when you open it up, you should instantly see data, data packs, dim one, dim dash one. If not, go ahead and click through these folders until you do see this, then click that back arrow, drag that to your desktop, and then when you open up that folder, you should be able to see this. This is what we need to be able to install into Minecraft. Now you might not have all of these folders, by the way, just some of them, but still, you get the point. You should have some of these folders here as soon as you open up your folder. Now let's go ahead and get our custom map installed. To do this, you again want to hit that little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left. This time, though, we want to type in Run. We then have this Run app here. Go ahead and click on that. And then in this Run app, you want to go ahead and type in percent app data percent right like so. so percent sign app data percent sign and hit enter that will then open up our roaming folder here and in here we have a dot minecraft folder and then in here you have a saves folder when you click on saves these are going to be all the worlds that you currently have in minecraft for example i have all these worlds right here if i actually delete these worlds right here if i wanted to do that i could right so i've removed those now when we join in we'll only have the 1.16.4 test world and the world border video worlds in game now to install a new world, all you want to do is go ahead and take Horizon Survival and drag and drop it into this saves folder. So again, to install a custom app, just take it from your desktop and drag and drop it into the saves folder. Now one last time, let's go ahead and double click on the Minecraft map we're installing and make sure that as soon as we open it, we see data. 
data packs, dim one, dim dash one, some of these folders and files here. And if we do, we are good to go. We can now close out of this and open up the Minecraft launcher. Nothing fancy needs to be done for the Minecraft launcher. You just need to open up Minecraft just like you normally would. 1.16.4 without any problems. Now, the next kind of challenge we're going to run into here is once we get in game, this was made for an older version of Minecraft. Remember, this was made for a snapshot of 1.16. Not even 1.16.2 or 3 or 4. This was made for a snapshot. So what do you do in that case when you're updating a map? How do you do that? How do you update a map? Well, we're going to be showing you. So from the Minecraft main menu here, go ahead and click on single player. And then in here we have Horizon Survival. Now, as you can see, it says version 20W21A. That is a snapshot version, but it's a snapshot version of Minecraft 1.16, so don't worry. Then go ahead and double click on this map. It's going to open up this thing and be like, do you really want to do this? Are you sure? We know what we're doing. We're good. So we can go ahead and click, I know what I'm doing. By the way, if you do mess something up here, you can always just re-download the map. There's nothing, you've done nothing in this world. So it doesn't matter if you convert it and break something. You're not going to break anything. But nevertheless, when you do go ahead and click, I know what I'm doing. And it's going to go ahead and convert the world, do everything it needs to do to convert it. And then it's going to go ahead and open up right like so. So as I said, this is a pretty cool skyblock style map. We go ahead and open this up. We do have Horizon Survival. We've also got kind of our beginner items here. And then I believe if we go ahead and open up this, we'll be able to see the Horizon Survival Guide. We've got an introduction, generating stone, efficiency tips, islands, all of that stuff. Kind of walks you through all of the different things, how to generate stone, you know, different efficiency tips, islands, desert island, nether island, water island, mountain island, all of that cool stuff. We can see some of these islands actually over here. Like That looks like to be the nether island. That may be the water island. I have no clue. There's a desert island over there. Pretty cool stuff. I'm actually willing to fly around right here if we can. So let's go ahead and give ourselves cheats. For those of you that don't know how to do that, you can always open a land world and then turn cheats on, even if it's not there by default. And then you can do things like, okay, you create them. Shh, be quiet. Then you can kind of check out this map. So over here, it looks like we're going to have the water world, I'm guessing. That looks like the water world to me. Yeah, 100%. And then up here, probably a mountain sort of world from the looks of it. Yep, that's going to be a mountain island, I believe. Yeah, looking good. And then we've got our desert island over here. Obviously, that's the starter island. So we've got our desert island over here. Looking good, looking good. What is this? I see a little, little block. Is that something falling? I think that's something falling out of the world. But nevertheless, then we can come over here to our nether island, which I wanted to check out just because this looks incredible. Like, look at that. that. Looks like a really cool island design to me. I don't know why. I just really like that. I especially like this like uh, sort of thing coming off the side here. Kind of reminds me of like a, I don't know. From this angle, it looked like a dragon sort of like, to me. That looks kind of like a dragon to me. Nevertheless, let me, uh, end island? Is this an end island? Speaking of dragons, this might be an end island. Let's see. Yes, so this is an end island over here. Cool stuff there. So, overall, this looks like a really, really fun map. I don't have much experience playing through it. Obviously, there is the guide and different things here. And you'll want to build out and get to the islands, starting with your basic cobblestone generator with your lava and your water. And, um, yeah, that's kind of that. Really, really cool stuff. Now, no matter what custom app you want to install, they're all going to be installed the same way. So you, you don't really have to worry too much about that. It's all going to be installed the exact same way that we just did in this video. So as you can see, now we have our standard cobblestone generator, and we can just start breaking cobblestone. <laughs> just breaking cobblestone right like so. And uh, as time goes on, you you know, you can get cobblestone, bridge these other islands, get, you know, complete objectives and, and explore and all that stuff. So pretty cool stuff. Skyblock's really, really fun. And like I said, we do have Skyblock on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Our Skyblock server is getting a huge update very, very soon. We've also got custom survival over there. Medieval survival having a player-based economy and an incredible quest system with over 30 custom quests, MCMMO, true MMO elements. It's amazing. And then we do have aquatic survival as well with a slash shop-based economy and just an incredible community over there. As like I said, Skyblock, Aquatic, and Medieval Survival looking awesome there. Nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you, did, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.